Hello children, good to see you all. This is Praveen Polipaka Social Department. So today we are going to discuss India relief features. India's relief features. Okay, first of all, we need to understand the word meaning relief, which means variations in ups and downs. Variations in ups and downs. Okay, so here, so we will explore clearly about to know many ideas from the India's re, India relief features. So, how these relief, how these relief like ups and downs were formed. So, what are the major ups and downs? Major so divisions. And not only that, the location of our India and the existence of our India. So, like uh, many questions would arise. So, so, for the answering for all these questions, so, so we will so discuss about this lesson. So after the end of this lesson, you would be given a good clarity about the all these questions which will be raised in your mind. Okay, children, just look here. India relief features. Okay, we are ready to discuss India relief features. So for that, first of all, we know the location of our country in the world map. First of all, we know the location of our country India in the world map. Yes, for that, to make you understand, a good understand, so about the location of our country India, let me draw a rough diagram. So a rough diagram, so that is here, this is the so rough diagram of the world. This is Northern, so North America, this is the North America and this is the South America and this is Europe and this is Asia and this is Africa and this is Australia and this is Antarctica. This is the rough diagram of the world. So here, our India. So, to know the location of our country India in the world map. Okay. So, before that, we need to know here, this is the 0 degrees latitude. The 0 degrees latitude, which is called as equator. Equator. Yes. And the next one is, here, the 0 degrees longitude. So, this is called as prime meridian. The 0 degrees longitude is called prime meridian. Okay. So, you have already well aware about this. So, equator and prime meridian. So, I have drawn the 0 degrees longitude and 0 degrees latitude to make you understand in easy manner. So, here, so with respect to the equator, with respect to the equator, so here our India is located in the so northern hemisphere. You know well about the equator is equator is passing through the middle of the earth. From the middle of the earth by dividing the earth into two equal halves. That is northern hemisphere and the next one is southern hemisphere. So, with respect to the equator, our India is located in the northern hemisphere. Our India is located in the northern hemisphere. Yes. And when coming to the prime meridian in the east. From the prime meridian, India is located in the east direction. And with respect to the equator, in the northern hemisphere. So, simply, the India is located... North, North, Northern Hemisphere, so East Side, Northern Hemisphere, East Side. So, the India is located in the Northern Hemisphere, in the East Side from the 0 degrees longitude, which is called as Prime Meridian. This is the location of our country in the world map. So now we are going to 
discuss about the extension of our country India that is longitudinal extension and latitudinal extension to know very clearly about the longitudinal extension and latitudinal extension so let me draw a rough diagram of the India so with the help of this rough diagram we can understand very clear the longitudinal and longitudinal extension as this is uh, just a rough diagram so to make you understand very clear about the extension yes <coughs> yes this is a rough diagram so with the help of this diagram it becomes more easier to understand the location it becomes more easier to understand the location so so that is latitudinal location latitudinal and longitudinal extension okay so here so before that so just uh, let me draw this is the earth so this is the zero degrees this is the zero degrees latitude so zero degrees latitude is called the equator and the next one is zero degrees longitude this is zero degrees longitude this is called as prime meridian yes prime meridian yes okay now so the lines which are drawing so from east to west or west to east these lines in the northern hemisphere so and in the southern hemisphere these lines are called latitudes these lines are called latitudes and the imaginary lines running from the north to south so these are called as so longitudes these are called as the longitudes what is the use of the longitudes and latitudes yes with the help of the latitudes and longitudes we can find out the place we can find out the location of a place exactly and accurately wherever it is in the world that is the main importance of the drawing of the imaginary lines that is latitudes and longitudes okay children here this is these are the latitudes so and uh, longitudes okay with the help of these latitudes and longitudes so let us find out the location exact location that is latitude with the help of the latitudes and longitudes we will find the location of our country exactly okay so here like this is 0 degrees and 1 degree 2 degrees 3 degrees like up to here 90 degrees and here also 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree the ranges these are the ranges of the latitudes and finally so here this is south pole 90 degrees latitude okay here these latitudes are drawn on the so earth which is obviously passing over the india not only the latitudes but also longitudes also passing over the india yes that is here so the latitude this is the latitude and like uh, these are the latitudes are running all these are the latitudes running over the country our country india and uh, these are the longitudes longitudes running from our country so from north to south from our country north to south yes okay here the <coughs> latitudinal extension here our india is located in the northern hemisphere and in the east side so that this is our india and this is somewhat closer to the equator okay here this is zero degrees and one degree two degrees three degrees four degrees like when that is reaches to the latitude latitude which is passing through our india that is 8 degrees when the range is reached to the 8 degree here our indian landmass is starting that is 8 degrees 4 minutes 8 degrees 4 minutes okay so here for example 
here for example 20 degrees like 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree 3 4 5 6 like uh, so here the ranges in the northern hemisphere for the latitudes were given and in the southern hemisphere also the latitudes were given for example here 5 degrees latitude all presenting here because as it is starting from the 0 degrees up to 90 degrees and at the same time in the southern hemisphere we can get like 1 2 3 like 5 degrees this is the latitude having range 5 degrees and this is also latitude having so range 5 degrees to avoid the confusion whether the latitude is so that is so false in the northern hemisphere or else in the southern hemisphere to avoid this confusion to give a good clarity here we will use n 5 degrees n which means 5 degrees latitude in the northern hemisphere when coming to this 5 degrees so this is the latitude falls in the southern hemisphere so here here s will be used to indicate the 5 degrees latitude so latitude that is in the southern hemisphere okay here completely our india's latitudes are the latitudes are which are running over our india they are completely in the northern hemisphere yes this is the latitude so that this is also in the northern hemisphere and all these latitudes are in the northern hemisphere okay and here the latitude range the range of the latitude here that is 37 degrees 6 minutes 37 degrees 6 minutes this is also north this is also north latitude here the latitudinal extension of our country india is 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes 8 degrees 4 minutes north to 37 degrees 6 minutes 6 minutes north okay this is the latitudinal extension these are very very important ranges have to be remembered and the next one is here this is 68 degrees 68 degrees 7 minutes 68 degrees 7 minutes okay here the longitude here the longitudes with respect to the prime meridian with respect to the prime meridian here the longitudes which are in the east side from this from this they are called as so eastern longitudes and here these are western longitudes here the longitudes are from the prime meridian they are in the east direction so that i am using e which means 68 degrees 7 minutes east east which means in the eastern hemisphere and here this is the range so let me write here so this is 97 degrees 25 minutes so, so 25 minutes this is also east 95 degrees 25 minutes this is also east okay these are the two longitudes two longitudes in between the two longitudes and in between the two latitudes you know no, no. with the help of these longitudes and latitudes so so while we draw the imaginary lines on the globe so as they are intersecting they are forming grids with the help of these grids we will able to identify the location so exactly on the world map so this is the location this is the location and here this is the longitudinal and latitudinal extension longitudinal and latitudinal extension of our country so that is so let me write here once again this is so first 8 degrees 4 minutes 8 degrees 4 minutes north to next one 37 degrees 6 minutes north and the next one is longitudinal extension in between 68 degrees 7 minutes east 68 degrees 7 minutes east and the next one is here 97 degrees 25 minutes 97 degrees 25 minutes 
east. These are very very important. These ranges gives us the exact location of our country in the world map. Often these been asking in SSC exam. So children just remember. So that is 8 degrees 4 minutes north, 37 degrees 6 minutes north and 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degrees 25 minutes east. This is the extension. Here the location and extension and after this we will explore. So before the so before that we need to so find out the distance from the north to south. The distance from north to south and at the same time the distance from the east to west. North to south and east to west. So the distance from the east to west the distance from the east to west is here the distance let me write draw here the line from here to here the distance is so two nine double three two thousand nine hundred and thirty three kilometers two thousand nine hundred and thirty three kilometers the distance in between east to west and now from the north from the north to south the distance between north to south northernmost point to the southernmost point the distance is the distance is it's very easy to remember so that is here so one two three four write down one two three is from the right to left one two three and here last four which is three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometers the distance between north to south three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometers and from the east to west two thousand nine hundred and thirty three kilometers just remember this okay next we will going to explore about the so geographical background so we are going to explore about the geographical background and before that before that here all the longitudes are called as the time zones with the help of these longitudes so so with the help of these longitudes we are so getting identifying the time from one place to another place as the longitude is changing the time also changes from one place to another place Okay children, here the first one, the zero degrees longitude. So here this longitude is passing through the London. So, so Greenwich mean time. Greenwich mean time. So that is passing through the London. Okay, from the Greenwich meridian to, so from to the India. So here this is. You know, here we have 68 degrees 7 minutes east longitude and 97 degrees 25 east longitude. Here, the difference in between the longitude. As we are moving from one place to another place, the longitude is changing. As the longitude is changing, the time is also obviously changing. So here, generally difference in the longitude that is giving two hours difference. Okay. To avoid this confusion in one country okay so there will be men there will be a lot of confusion would arise if for the people who are in the country so some part having one one time and another part having another time so that is so uh, uh, leads to the so uh, uh, leads to the confusion so as because here the entire country having a common administration so that here the India has chosen a longitude which is passing through the so here so Uttar Pradesh Allahabad from the Uttar Pradesh that is 82 degrees 30 minutes 82 degrees 30 minutes east longitude this is the this is the reference line this is the reference longitude to identify the IST which means Indian Standard Time. IST means Nana Indian Standard Time. Indian Standard Time. 
yes with the help of the longitude which is passing through the which is which is passing through the uttar pradesh so that longitude is taken as indian standard time indian standard time so that is so here so 80 degrees 82 degrees 30 minutes that is so east longitude this is based on this longitude based on this range so here the india is following the time common for the all the people or people who are living in the country you know so for india indian standard time for pakistan so another so standard time here so another reference lines would be there so that is pst pakistan standard time ist indian standard time here from the greenwich meridian our indian standard time ist is ahead ahead 5 and 1/2 hours which means our time is 5 and 1/2 hours ahead from the so here greenwich meridian time greenwich meridian time so this is about the so location and longitudinal and latitudinal extension so let us explore about the geographical background because as the india is so varied so rich in diversity so vast country so because all this is possible all this is possible only because of the varied diversity in climatic conditions because of the varied diversity many differences in the climate climatic conditions that is so made possible different uh, growing of the different kinds of uh, living beings and uh, growing of the different uh, kinds of crops existing of the different uh, living beings and growing of the different uh, crops all this is possible only the geography of our india and the climatic conditions of our india so let us so explore about the geographical background let us explore the geographical background of our so india let us explore geographical background yes so here you have given a good uh, clarity in the previous class in the 9th standard about the about the geographical background and formation of india formation of india yes yeah okay let me speak about here the geographical location of india provides its varied diversity in climatic conditions this has led to the variety of variety of vegetation and the life forms along with along with the so here so many differences okay my dear children let us it's long coastline and so because of the long coastline uh, so that is so connecting india is connecting with the for the international transportation through the waterways and fishing also developed very well and fishing also so main occupation of people who are living near by the coast okay now we will explore about the that is geographical background so this is geographical background okay so when coming to the geographical background so geographical background yeah yes in this geographical background so first of all the indian landmass the indian landmass is one of the part in the gondwana land you know well about in earlier so one super massive continent was there and later on and that was split into two so huge huge land masses so one is drifted north side one is drifted to north side and the next one is drifted to the south side the north one is laurasia the north one laurasia and the southern one which was so moved to the southern part that is gondwana land 
Gondwana land. Okay, Gondwana land. You know, here the Gondwana land that is slowly drifted and moved to the in the direction, especially the so Indian landmass. Indian landmass. Indian landmass that is drifted to the northeast direction. To the northeast direction. Northeast direction and that is collided and that is collided with the so large plate that is Eurasian plate large Eurasian plate Eurasian plate as it is collided <coughs> when the Indian landmass that is collided with the so here large Asia that is Eurasian large large Eurasian plate so when that is collided with that so obviously there the immense compression immense compression and pressure was developed so that because of the due to this due to this collision and immense pressure and compression as they are moving and colliding and slowly here there was so the land was raised up the land was raised up which was leading to the formation of the land land mass having higher elevated position having with the high elevation so later on this was called as all this was happened around millions of years ago around millions of years ago and right now because of this because of this here so so the mountains were formed because of this the mountains were formed okay the Indian landmass, the Indian landmass, what we are seeing right now, so has the result that is the result of the many geographical conditions like geographical so formations due to the geographical formations and several other processes. Okay, so like erosion. So let me write so geographical. Geographical, geographical formations, geographical formations and several so other processes like uh, erosion, erosion and the next one is deposition. So here like some of the processes like the first one is erosion and uh, deposition and the next one is weathering. So these are the some changes so which were because of these processes the Indian landmass so resulted as present situation all these situations were happened so above so ago 200 millions of years. So because of these situations like the present form of land was so seen. Okay, here as it was, as it was drifted and collided with the Eurasian plate and later on here that was resulted to the formation of the mountains. Formation of the mountains. High elevated position. Elevated position so was developed. And not only that and here so flat that that flat flat northern plains were also formed because of the because of the rivers from the himalayas from the north from the north the himalayan rivers and from the south the peninsula rivers so himalayan rivers and peninsula rivers were so deposited sediments so because of the deposition of these sediments by the northern from the north now himalayan rivers and from the south peninsula rivers that was resulted in the formation of that was resulted in the formation of the so here so flat northern plains flat northern plains so here because of this uh, northern uh, north and south uh, as the rivers are depositing the sediments that was resulted the so here development of the so here so 
flat northern plains and uh, uh, here so vast and uh, vast and flat northern plains were formed okay okay children so this is about the geographical so background the geographical background of the india so so these are the some processes which were so helped in formation of the land mass okay first land mass okay generally often i am using the word land mass land mass means a continuous area of land is called land mass continuous area of land is called land mass so this is the geographical background of our india and later on we will know about the major relief divisions major relief divisions so that is we need to so get the major relief divisions that is okay major relief divisions let me list out the what are the major relief divisions okay to know that children okay once again let me draw the so here the india map let me draw once again the india map okay so this is the rough diagram of india yes this is the rough diagram of uh, india okay yes okay children yeah yes this is andaman and nicobar islands and these are the lakshadweep islands these are the lakshadweep islands okay this is indian peninsula Indi this is indian peninsula okay what is meant by peninsula peninsula means peninsula means a land area a land area which is having water on its three directions and the one more direction is remains land this kind of this kind of geography this kind of land is called as the so here peninsula okay now we will apply this definition for the india yes it's very clear here this is the west in the west direction so here the india is surrounded by the arabian sea arabian arabian sea this is the arabian sea and in the east direction this is bay of bengal this is bay of bengal and now so from the southmost direction this is indian ocean this is indian ocean in the southern part indian ocean and when coming to the northern part here this is remains land you know the land with this is having water bodies on three sides water body means a lot so refers to a quantity of water water body refers a quantity of water generally five usually find on the earth or another planet okay quantity of water is called water body three sides water bodies and the in the north direction in the northern part remains land so this is a good example for the so peninsula this is good example for peninsula that is what of we use the peninsula india the peninsula india or else indian peninsula or else indian peninsula will use like that okay what are the major relief divisions that is the major relief divisions of our country are the major relief divisions of our country so this is yes okay children the first one is so let me write major major relief divisions major relief divisions yeah relief divisions okay so you know well the first one is as we have discussed so because of the so many formations and situations these divisions were developed so that is the first one is so here the himalayas the first one is the himalayas the first major relief division the himalayas himalayas and the next one is the next one is so the second one is here so indo gangetic plains indo gangetic plains indo gangetic plains yes this is the major relief division 
so planes and the next one is east sorry here this is so deccan plateau deccan the deccan plateau here this is the deccan plateau the deccan deccan plateau they can plateau and the next one is so eastern and western coastal plains the eastern and the western coastal plains the eastern and western coastal plains western coastal plains yes so here these are the eastern coastal plains and these are the western coastal plains this is the deccan plateau this is the indo gangetic plain and this is the himalayas and the next one this is which is located in the rajasthan and also called as the great indian desert the great indian desert that is the thar desert the thar desert also called as great indian desert so the thar desert and the next one is so after this after this here the islands andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep islands the islands the islands these are the major relief divisions so in we will explore so about the himalayas the indo gangetic plains the deccan plateau the eastern plains and the eastern and western coastal plains and the next one is the thar desert which is located in the rajasthan and the islands so andaman nicobar islands and the next one is lakshadweep islands okay in this lesson india relief features so these are the major relief relief divisions so if we explore clearly about the each topic so you will be given a good clarity so that you can understand very well about the so all the indian relief features and today we have discussed about the first one is location of our country and longitudinal and latitudinal extension and geographical background of our country and the next one is here so the just we have so new we have known about the major relief divisions such as the himalayas the indo gangetic plains the deccan plateau the eastern and western coastal plains the thar desert and the islands so this is today's session children regarding this if you have any doubt or any confusion i am always ready for you i am always ready for you to resolve your doubts from today's class if you have anything so just ask me in comment section and i'll definitely help you and i'll read the comments and uh, i will so definitely so discuss with you in later on sessions and please subscribe to this channel so if you subscribe to this channel the notification will be sent to your mobile immediately as soon as i upload it into my channel and not only this but also a uh, many ideas would be provided so in the in this channel so subscribe and comment share okay subscribe to this channel comment and share i am always for you all my children take care happy learning bye